Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode 23 of my Minecraft 1.18 Hardcore Survival Let's Play. So, in today's episode, we got some exciting plans, but I will say this. If you missed yesterday's episode, please go and check it out. We did some very big things yesterday, like fighting the End Dragon, and uh, we also got a uh, Flyboy, so pretty sweet. Go back and watch that for sure. You don't want to miss last episode, episode 22. So what I want to do in this episode is something that I think you're definitely going to want to watch. We're going to make a fully automatic azalea tree farm. So instead of me having to do that by hand and, ooh, that looks kind of good, I might keep that there. I'm going to be copying Ethos Labs design. He has made the most incredible AFK automatic, whatever you want to call it, azalea tree farm. And I am going to be copying that. And uh, we have a few things that we're going to need up at the sky base, so we're going to go get those now. We'll have to craft a few things here too, but we should be able to get started very soon. Okay, so it should just be right over yonder. Okay, <laughs> I'm not too good. I'm still, I still have my, I'm still getting my sea legs, okay? Or my air legs. We have a lot of chests, we'll take those. Oh, we have a lot of hoppers, we will take those. Um, but I don't, I, other than that, I don't think we'd really have anything. Maybe, oh. Okay, we have some observers. Okay, also, there's a few things in here I think I can live without. Pretty sure I can live without those. Just one of each of those. <laughs> I think I think I'll be okay if that stuff's gone. Um, okay, there is a good bit of redstone in here. Is that enough? I genuinely don't know. There's some pistons in here. There's actually a lot of wood. Dude, there was a lot of stuff in here that's really good, actually. What the heck? Um, 12 levers. Yeah, I'll be okay without those. And, uh... I'll take the quartz because I'm sure we're going to need it. So, again, like I said, let me go craft everything else. I am going to go get some redstone. Um, why am I not flying? I almost, dude, that made my, makes my heart drop. But yeah, it's so nice to have an elytra because, you know, you can find caves and stuff so much easier. And I do feel like now, oh my gosh, I do feel like now it's a lot more useful to have an elytra underground. Because before, you know, the caves are not that big. You're not going to be flying through caves. But, like, in this update, like, yeah, you can, you can fly through... I'm going to die. I'm going to I'm going to end up dead. Yeah, I'm going to get redstone, uh, but I'm going to have to put some. St oh, I have a shulker box. I was like, I'm going to have to go back and put some stuff up. But no, I look at this. I have all this infinite room just sitting in my inventory. Let me go get redstone. OK, so this cave would be a better example of like what you can fly around in. Right. I don't have my elytron. So like you can literally fly. <laughs> Like, I, I know some other people have probably already experienced this, but this is my first time, like, flying underground. Like, this is not... This is not... Yeah, yeah I'm a pro, dude. I'm a pro. This is not, like, something you normally used to be able to do. Like, you didn't... You didn't really fly around inside of caves. Like, you'd, you'd die, right? I also know I need a bucket of lava, so I'm gonna go ahead and just grab that. That's an important one, a bucket of lava. And also, maybe a normal bucket. That's my loot box. Um, a normal bucket, which I know we can make um, if we just destroy, or th not destroy, throw away a few of these uh, undesirables. We don't need these. Goodbye. Goodbye, old friend. Goodbye. Um, I can definitely get some water as well. That's not how you make that. Just like that. Skrplunk. Okay. I'm back from my mining trip. I'm going to rename this so that I don't get it confused. We're going to call this the Project Box 1. Because I assume eventually we're going to have projects so big we're going to need different numbers. Uh, but for right now, we can just make this all into redstone blocks. Just to congeal everything into one solid mass. That will make things a lot better. And now I'm going to craft a bunch of things because, again, I don't know specifically what I need. I have a good idea, um, but let me watch through more of the video and figure out what I need, and then I will come back in a sec. Okay, I cannot explain to you how long it took to get all this, but I have it all. I have everything. I have all the bone meal we're probably going to need. We can get more TNT very easily. It's just harder to get bone blocks. I got to go all the way back to my old base, so... Um, yeah, so we we should have enough stuff, right? Like, like we, we should have enough stuff. Um, if we need to go get more bones, we'll have to go to the old base. We had a few here, but definitely not enough. Why won't you load? <laughs> Please, Minecraft, load. Um, but yeah, I'm super hyped to get started on this project. I think it's going to probably be underground, you know, see, because how we live in this big, beautiful world. Uh, but I want it to be somewhere that's not going to be super noisy if I want to run it while I'm here. So I was just going to look around a few spots since we can finally just kind of fly around and see everything. 
And uh, I don't think over here, because over here is where our AFK spider farm is. If you remember, it's right down here. So I don't think we're going to do it in here. Dude, flying in caves is so sick. Like, seriously, the best thing ever. Where, where, where am I going, though? <laughs> back over to here. Back over to here. Used to, I could follow my beacon, but there's no more beacon. But there is, however, a large area down over here, if the world would load. Um, there is a large area over here. Maybe we could do it on top of the water. I, I mean, I don't know if that would be... No, because redstone needs to go underground. You know, to be honest with you, maybe we shouldn't build it in the cave. I don't know. I really don't know where where would a good spot for this be. Because, like, I kind of know how much room I'm going to need. Hmm. That's a good... <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to build it. I have no idea. And then if you come down over here, this is, if you remember, where that mine shaft is. Um, I don't remember why I put an arrow here. It was to point to something. Uh, but to be honest with you, I forgot what it was. Maybe a spotter of some sort. Um, but we, of, of course, we have the area, like, around our, you know, our, around our base. This area looks nice, too, and it's just kind of right below everything. But I don't want to, like, build it in front of our house. This is where I want the village to eventually be. Um, I'm going to probably add some more moss over there and make this into one big flat area. Um, how much area is up here? Like, is there enough room? Ooh, there's, I like that spot over there. Let's go check this out. So, obviously, we've been over here before quite a few times. Now, how thick, how thick is the bottom of this? Okay, so it's, that's, that's actually perfect. Okay, I say we do it here then. Honestly, I'm getting good vibes from this area. I think it's going to be a nice, okay, I tr <laughs> I'm trying not to kill myself here, but it's very hard. I am very bad at this game. Um, but yeah, let me watch the video a little bit more and uh, get a better idea of what I'm going to do. And uh, we'll start flattening this out, or I'll start flattening it out, and I'll come back, and we're going to build it. I'm, I'm actually really excited. I've never had an AFK wood farm ever. This is going to be sick. All right, so I'm going to flatten this area out to about this uh, height, and uh, I'm going to do it all the way to, like, that corner. That should give us enough room, and again, if we need extra room, we can always get it pretty easily. Uh, I don't think I'll bring the beacon over here for this. Um, it shouldn't take too long, honestly. So I'll see you when that's done. Should end up with a nice like stone playing field and then we can just cover it in moss. Uh, which I think, I'm pretty sure you can bone meal stone and it becomes moss. Which will be perfect. So we don't have to touch it at all. Uh, but yeah, I just figured I'd give you an update and I will see you guys when I'm complete. Alright guys, well we have this area flattened. And uh, because of the nature of TNT, I, I've been watching the Ethos video. This is like my fourth time watching it. And uh, he only uses brick for the channel, but I want to make the entire floor area in here brick. I mean, there's so much clay around in this area that I feel like it's kind of appropriate. Um, I'll also round this out a little bit because I know it looks a little bit odd. Just looks like a box cut in here. Uh, but I'm not focused on making this look pretty right now. I'm focused on making this thing actually work. This is going to be the most complicated redstone I've ever done in Minecraft. And I really, I, I have low confidence that I'm going to be able to do it. But yeah, let me put this as brick and then we're going to actually start the build. I am so hyped, but I'm also very anxious. And, and nervous I'm not gonna be able to do it but you know what if we if we watch the video like seven or eight times there's no way we can't do it right right okay guys well I'm as ready as I'll ever be it was nice to go back to the old base we got a lot of brick brick is down let's get it built first before we start making it look fancy okay so I don't know where I'm hearing these mobs from but they've got to be close though right because they're really annoying. You guys are very, you're very annoying. So I'm going to stand here and let you beat on me a little bit. Because I don't have my sword. How did they even spawn in here? Oh. Ooh, it's a little dark in here. Ooh, yeah. Okay. I get you, zombies. I get you indeed. I was like, how'd they spawn in here? All right. Well, I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, but we're just going to start. And I think that's, <laughs> I think I need to get over. I think the initial hump is going to be the hardest part. Um, now this is going to push blocks how far? L let's just build this real quick and let's see how far this will actually push blocks. Um, and I also, I think I have extra, yeah. <laughs> I think I have extra brick, just, just, just a wee bit in here. And uh, I want to see if I can build at least this part right, right? Like, I mean, I, this, this shouldn't be the hardest thing in the world, but um, it, Etho said this was the hardest part for him was getting this to work. And I could see it. I don't like water either. It's 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 not a fun thing. And I see I already don't know. I mean, I think I kind of know what he was doing. 
Right, and then the lava goes right here. Yeah. No? Yeah. Dude, I, I don't know. Hold on. <laughs> okay, yeah. See, I'm just psyching myself out because this is, this is exactly what you need to happen. So, we're going to put our lava... Oops, you almost messed it up. We're going to put our lava right here. Okay? And that's going to make smooth stone. Because when lava flows into moving water, it makes smooth stone. And then we're just going to... We need to get a building block. Something we can, like, define as a building block. We can just use smooth stone for now. Um, and we can put a button right here, which I have conveniently in my inventory. It's almost like I planned it. Um, and I'm going to push this out until it can't extend anymore. And, uh, how did it make cobblestone? That's, that shouldn't happen. <laughs> it, it shouldn't make cobblestone. I think it might be actually because I am doing it by hand. Usually it won't happen, um, because of the, you know, it's set up with the timer and everything. But yeah, give me a little bit and let me just extend this out. I think, uh, yeah, because cobblestone means, so basically the stone, when you bone meal, uh, stone? Or, wait, how do you make... I don't even know how this works, okay? <laughs> I have no idea. Just let me build it. But stone can turn into moss, essentially. Um, while, like, brick cannot turn into moss, right? But stone can be mossified. Okay, I know why I was so confused. This goes right here. And then into this is going to go four repeaters. So one, two, three, and four. And then you want to set all these to four ticks. One, two, three, four, something like that. Okay, you just expand them out all the way. I don't know what I'm talking about, okay? So just, just don't listen to me. And then we take some observers. And uh, we have that. That's a dropper. <laughs> that's that's a... I'm going to get it one day, dude. I'm going to get it one day. Yeah, and the arrow is going to face out this way. And then the arrow is going to face out that way. Okay, so this is going to tick whenever it sees this. Send a pulse back to here. And it will uh, push the piston, and uh, that's where eventually the logs are going to grow. They get pushed over, blown up by TNT. Bada bing, bada boom, a fully automatic tree farm. Just a few more steps. Okay, and then we're going to build a safety switch so that this thing does ne like it just never turns off uh, when you don't want it to. And uh, I don't really know how it works, but it works. And uh, we're going to build this. So basically, if you log in or log out or unload the chunks or load the chunks, sometimes some wonky stuff can happen. And uh, this little device right here is going to prevent such wonkiness from stopping the farm working. Okay, so we're going to put a stone here. We're going to put a redstone torch here. And then we're going to put... I'm, I'm trying my best here. Okay, the little... The little okay, that's not a comparator. We need comparators. A little one here. A little one there. Okay. That looks right. I'm looking like at my other monitor where I have this pulled up. And then those three pieces of redstone. I need more redstone, which in our project box we have quite a bit. Um, and so this will act as sort of a safety switch. So it's on right now. If this thing were to, for instance, turn off, I can't really show it. Uh, but basically, this would activate this. That would send a pulse out. Uh, hold on. Maybe I could show it. Hold on. Let me just see. So you see how it's on right now, right? And it's going to stay on. Uh, but for instance, if it stopped, you see now it's trying to push it, but it can't. Uh, if I were to give it room... I don't know, okay? <laughs> I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, see, this thing is going to time itself. If I... Okay, hold on. You see how it just pushed itself? It, it shouldn't... Man, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm trying to... I'm trying to, I'm trying to like explain it but obviously I can't but do you see how it's working now just very slowly it's basically pushing out a clock and now this one is acting like a clock and I don't know it's just really cool okay I think it's really cool but eventually it's gonna get where it can't push so it can't push this thing activates and then it, and as soon as it can push it pushes it so that's pretty sweet ethos thank you this is incredible I don't understand it I'm gonna try to talk to my cousin soon maybe he can explain it better and then I can explain it better in a future episode but I realize now that like a bunch of other stuff has to happen right around here and we're all the way <laughs> where I, so what I'm going to do, I think is move this entire design just back into here. And then I'm going to come back because obviously like the, the, it would be kind of silly for us to have built this big platform and then just like, you know, so let me move this whole thing back like 10 blocks. Okay. Well, there we go. Let's see how far it will now extend. We have to get it to that first observer there. And then it will start to 
it will start to take back and break them at the correct rate. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I can't mess it up, but you see my safety, the, sway, the safety switch, switch saves the whole thing. And then it's going to go until it literally cannot go anymore. So that's as far as it can push. And that's a much better spot to be in. So about the middle, right? Like that's pretty much perfect. So let's watch the next portion of the video. I think I'm going to need some sticky pistons and a whole lot of patience. Okay. So I've grabbed my logs here. So we're going to do, uh, one, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. And then we're going to do a total of six sticky pistons like this. And uh, I'm not 100% sure what they do, but I think that it's something to do with uh, pushing the trees, right? Like these are uh, gonna push the trees. And then behind here, we're gonna have to use some slabs. So I'm gonna break out a little bit of an area here just so that we have enough room to do this. I don't know how well, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. Like I'll be completely honest, my confidence is shot. I just watched the rest of the video again and I'm like, oh no, I gotta do this on camera. Okay, let's see if I can do this. So a full block here. Half slab, slab, half slab, slab, right? And then you and then you break these. And then I think the redstone would go like right here. I, I, like I'm pretty sure. <laughs> we'll see we'll see if this works in a second. Um, now if I just like pulse the bottom, will these all activate? And they all activate. Okay, that is a good sign. That is a very good sign indeed. It has pushed the stone. Stone has been pushed, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, stone has been pushed. Pushed. There's also something we have to do up here. Um, I don't remember what it was though. Okay, so the last slab has to go right here and this prevents a tree from growing and cutting off that redstone signal. So let's just verify it still works. There you go. So I copied it exactly. So I assume it's going to work, right? All right, let's work on the meat and potatoes. So we're going to put a piece of moss here. So this is the moss that's going to spread to the stone. This moss is not going to move. And then we are going to need a dispenser that is facing the moss so that it can dispense bone meal into the moss. So just to verify it, let's grab ourselves some bone meal. So we can just take one of these, get nine bone meal, throw it in there. And this is just a little bit of a test just to make sure everything's working. So you see how it spread everything to there. Obviously, this is going to be stone. Uh, but for right now, we'll just, we'll just make pretend that that was, you know, activated. And that works good. Um, I think I built this on the wrong block. I think I did. I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be one block over. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of building it as I go. Just building it as I go and doing my best. It's all you can do, right? Okay. Yeah, I think it was supposed to be one block over. Yeah, that would make more sense. Okay, and then a piston on top to break the grass. And then we're going to put an observer down. And then we're going to wire it up just to make sure it will activate both of those. And then we're going to put another observer facing this way to carry the signal over to this side. And then we have to put a dispenser down and this dispenser, I don't think we even need droppers except for the TNT maybe. And this dispenser is going to grow the tree that will appear right here. And then we need to put three blocks right here. And this is going to prevent these from becoming moss. Okay. And then this next part's a little tricky, but I think I have it. I, I, I think I have it. So the observer is going to be on the third block here. And again, this is carrying the signal. I, I, I don't know. Okay. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I've given up trying to explain what's going on here because I genuinely have no idea. Um, this observer is facing this direction. Yes. And then this is going to activate the dispenser more than once or something or, 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 or this activates it. And then this is going to activate it twice. So we're going to do one tick pulse there. Okay, and then we want three, we're going to remove that. We want three repeaters, so one right here, and then two right here. Obviously, you got to connect the repeaters, right? And then we're going to do one, two, three, four, one, or two, three, four, and then the middle one is going to be at just the default. So it goes without saying, of course, full credit goes to Ethos Lab. I actually had to re-record the second clip in this episode. If you notice anything wonky, like my XP moving around, I literally just realized that the second clip of this episode was corrupted, and I just had to re-record it. But I think you get, you understand what we're going on, but I, I was talking about, you know, full credit goes to Ethos Lab. I could literally never design anything like this. I could never dream of it. So thank you for uh, the design. 
and uh, full credit goes to you. Of course, the link is in the description. If you want to go watch that video, I think he has like 545,000 views on that video. Uh, so if you want to watch it and follow along with him, you can go and click the link in the description. Uh, but yeah, thank you, Ethos Lab. You, you make the best designs, of course. I don't know. I doubt he'll ever hear it, but... Uh, yeah, maybe he'll see the thumbnail and be like, hmm, that's my design. And yes, it is your design. I take no credit. I'm just uh, very thankful that I have an automatic farm now. Well, we're getting close. We're getting close. All right, well, back to work. We're going to take some observers here. Uh, we're going to place them facing this direction and then this direction. And that's going to send another signal to hopefully break the grass a third time. And then we're going to be triggering the dispenser, which is right here. Uh, wait, this isn't. This doesn't seem right. Do I have this right? <laughs> I really hope this is right. I I, I feel like th this looks wrong. Hold on. You know what? It looks the same as his, but in my eyes, like so, if the azalea tree grows right here, so that's going to push it. But what is this? What? It, why is there a piston here? Cause if how is the azalea gonna get right there? I I don't know. <laughs> I I have no idea. Cause if the tree grows right here, but 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 it's not. It's gonna grow right here. But there's no ah whatever, dude. I'm just gonna put my faith in the video. I don't need to understand it. I suppose. I just I just need it to work, and uh, that's perfectly okay with me. I'll just uh, hand the reins over to ethos because I literally have no idea this stuff is too <laughs> that it's like I go from doing no redstone to a complicated redstone and it's just blowing my mind dude okay so supposedly the tree farm part is done uh, and then of course we have to make you know the the part okay I'm grabbing the wrong stuff sorry I've been recording for a long time today um, we have to make the part that actually you know I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> that collects the wood. Jeez. Okay. Uh, and then my inventory is just jam-packed full. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do the old school thing. Just throw it all on the floor and pick it up in a minute. Because I'm I'm just getting sick of having all this stuff everywhere. It bugs me to the highest of degrees. There we go. And this should be a lot of bone meal. If we need to go get more, of course we can get more. Uh, but I want to fill up both of these dispensers all the way. So you do have to like load this thing up. But, you can also make double chests and hoppers, which I'm pretty sure he does. And uh, we can probably figure that out on our own. Or we can just watch the video and copy exactly what he does. Probably do that one. I think that might be the better solution. Because if I try to do it on my own, ooh, mm -mm, that's not going to work. <laughs> I can just tell you right now, that is not going to work. I think I actually kind of picked up things in the same order, sort of. So, you want to break the block where the tree grows. And uh, supposedly this thing should work. We can just give it a little, uh, little, little kickstart there. I don't even know, dude. I don't even know. I mean, it's it looks like it's working, right? Eventually, you know, it will grow a tree. It's just kind of random as to when it's going to grow the tree because an azalea bush has to grow right there. But like, what is this piston here for? Like what? What is the point of this piston? What? Why? Why is this here? Like what? Why not have? Oh, see, but it grew one, but it didn't grow the tree. It just like threw it on the ground. Hmm. Well, I'm waiting for it to work. I know eventually it'll work. It's just it's not instant, right? But it's a fully automatic tree farm. I mean, how much better can it be, right? Really? I mean, like look, look how much bone meal it's used. It's not very much at all. Is it going to work? Please work. <laughs> we'll do a time lapse and see if it works, right? Try that. Dude, the second, this, the literally the second I quit recording, you know what happens? I mean, you can see it, but literally the second I quit recording, <laughs> like, what's the chance? So maybe if I keep talking and babbling on, eventually we'll see it work again. But yeah, it just grew that tree, and then it pushes it over, and then it pushes it over to some water, and then you TNT it, and then it goes in a hopper. There we go. Another one. So I seriously, what is the function of this? Like, uh, okay, so this... Okay, hold on. I gotta stop the... How do I stop it? <laughs> oh, yeah. He said, currently the only way I really know how to stop it is uh, by just breaking a repeater. So we're just gonna break the repeater, put it back to full tick, and let's, let's, just, let's just look at it for a second. Okay. So the point of this... 
So there's a dispenser under here that is that is bone mealing this piece of moss, okay? And once it's bone mealed this piece of moss, if there's not an azalea bush there, it has to break it? But where's the azalea bush growing? The azalea bush is going to grow on here. So why not just have one dispenser? What's the point of this dispenser? To sp oh, to spread the moss to this one. But then it can only spread again if there's nothing on top of the moss block. So like if the moss block... Okay, let me just do this. L l l let me just like do this on the ground, right? So let's say this is just an area where moss can spread. If there's something on top of the moss like this, if you bone meal it, does that just mean like, like if you bone meal it, will it just not spread? Ah, see, so it, it won't spread if there's something on top of it, but if you remove what's on top, it spreads. So that's the whole point of that fun the function of that piston right there, is to make exactly that happen. Okay, good. Well, I feel like it's a good thing to understand what's going on with the machine you're building, but I'm really happy that it works. Now, obviously, we're going to have to feed bone meal into this thing. We're going to have to feed bone meal into this dispenser as well, um, which will be pretty easy. I'm not really worried about that. Um, and then we get to build the automatic TNT breaker thingy, which I'm very excited about. I've never built one of those, so whew, let's get to it. Okay, so just so I don't get confused, I'm going to let this thing run um, pretty much until it is just stopped, like with wood. So, you know, it can only push the wood so far. Pist pistons can only push stuff so far. So I'm going to hit it with a little pulse here, and we're going to let it grow. It's pretty cool how it works. Like, the stone gets pushed here, instantly converted to moss, bone mealed, and push. I mean, it's just, it, it's a cool thing. Let's go ahead and time lapse it and uh, kind of kind of get a better view of it. I'll, I'll put a torch down so it's even easier to see. Uh, we'll do a little time lapse and just kind of kind of see how it looks when it's running really fast. Okay, so I think I think I might have messed up. Uh, I don't think I don't think it's supposed to be able to grow wood over in that direction. So I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. I'm sure it's something that I'm just overlooking. Uh, but let's make sure this thing stops. Get that one last pulse in from the protector circuit. Uh, open this thing all the way back up. Okay. So I don't know. I don't know how the the Etho dealt with this. Is that you know? Obviously, you don't want this. This is a uh, this is a no no to have a bunch of wood over here. Now I'm sure that it's a somewhat simple fix, uh, but I'll get to it later. We're not we're not going to work on that. We're just going to make sure the tree farm will work in its most basic form before we mess with any of this fancy schmancy stuff. Because uh, yeah, I I don't think that's right, and I'm pretty sure there's something that I'm just doing wrong to fix that. But yeah, let's build this little area out now where we can uh, hopefully uh, TNT this bad boy. Okay, so I think I have this thing dug out the correct distance. Now we just need to scoop up a couple of buckets of water here and uh, verify that the water goes the correct distance away. Um, and then we'll we'll wire up the hoppers and such. But yeah, it'll never really get this far is like, is like the point that... I, I, I don't know, for some reason in my mind, I thought it needed to extend all the way before I could see if it worked or not. But in reality, it'll never get that far because there's going to be an observer... Uh, that causes it to blow it up long before it gets over here. So the observer doesn't blow up, obviously. You, you, you get what I'm saying, okay? You get what I'm saying. Maybe you do. I don't know. There's a chance you don't. And if you don't, that's okay, too. Um, and then, yeah, I guess it has to be one more long. And then I'm just going to fill in this bottom area with brick. Okay. And then this will just go into a hopper or something. I don't know. We'll deal with that part later because that'll be pretty easy. I can figure that out. Okay. Okay. Well, he actually did it in the reverse, so I'm going to copy what the smart man did and put it in reverse because I doubt that if I do it that way, maybe something will happen. I, I don't know. Uh, where are my hoppers? There they are. So we'll have it flow into a hopper and then into a double chest. He said, for now, but I'll probably make it fancier later. And I was like, how can you make it fancier, dude? <laughs> like, I, how, do these, how, how, do you, how do you make it fancier than a hopper? Because I don't know, you know? 
that's that's you know i i don't know i don't know how you make it fancier in a hopper but yes he's gonna eat he, he runs it into a hopper so let's put the double chest down first because i'm always paranoid they won't connect and then the hopper then the hopper right there and then we can fashion some way to get in and out of here probably on this side i don't think you don't really want to walk around this area because tnt is going to go kablooey all the time and don't want to be in that path but for right now i can probably change this up later uh but we'll leave it like this and we'll see if it works so this you know saplings will run into here and uh rooted dirt and stuff and they'll go into here and hopefully they just fly into the hopper there you go and into the chest all right well i need to get obsidian before i do any of this and i cannot remember for the life of me if i had extra tnt left and if i did it's probably still in the nether so i'm probably going to go and get that too because i need the tnt um, but let's go and check for ourselves do we have um wait what was i going in here for Hmm. Oh, obsidian. That's right. We need that because it's blast proof. That's going to be very helpful. So it's in rare materials. Yes. Cause say at one point and it may still be in the old base. I had so much TNT, like a ridiculous sum of TNT, uh, but I'll go check the nether and I'll make sure that I don't have any in here. Okay. So I could actually months, <clears throat> I could actually muster up quite a bit of TNT. Um, and we can just keep it coming with that creeper farm, which is just awesome that that can power this whole thing. And uh, now comes the fun part, so we do need a dispenser. I'm going to dispose of this stuff. We're going to get so much of it that we will never miss it. It's okay. Um, so we're going to get a dispenser. We need TNT, and then just a button for right now, and then a water. Okay. So we're going to go over here, and it's three blocks away, I believe. Yeah, so three blocks here, and then it's going to be on the third block. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? No... One, two, three. Wait. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> okay, this is the right spot. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And then we're gonna make a hole or something like this. And then you I think you put it I think you put a dispenser here. Then you put this here, then you put water, and then you fill this thing up with TNT, and then we're gonna do a button to test it. Hopefully this doesn't blow anything up. The water should sh should shield. I think. There you go, and then it breaks. All is well, and then uh, wait, 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 wait. Did I just see a chest in there? Is that right? No, no. Okay, and then all the stuff goes into there, so that works. That's good. Now I just have to do all the redstone that wires that to fire at the correct time, and I don't know how to do that. So let's watch and continue on. Okay, so we're gonna put an observer right here. Okay, this is where the droppers come in. So I knew I didn't make them for no reason. We're going to put two droppers facing each other right here. So a dropper here and then a dropper there. And they're going to be facing each other. For what reason? I don't know. And then we have to put a block above it to trigger that dropper. Okay, and then we're going to put a comparator right here. Looks good. Okay, and then a comparator here just like that. And a piece of redstone on the other side. And then a repeater set to, oh, that's not a repeater. And then a repeater set to four. And then this is gonna go to a sticky piston with a block on top. Okay, scratch that, plans changed. <laughs> this is supposed to be, there's supposed to be observers facing each other up here or something. I, I really, frankly, I, I don't know, okay? I just, I, I really don't know. Is this even the right block? Hold on. Okay, yeah, so these two blocks, so the observers just need to face each other it's gonna be kind of hard to place these. They face each other like this, so they should tick constantly now. Okay, there you go. They are indeed ticking. And then I did forget a block right here, which is gonna hit this dropper. Okay, we also gotta turn this bad com bad boy comparator on. Another comparator. Okay, and then we're gonna put a dropper facing upwards here. So I guess an upwards dropper. Cool. And then we need four stacks of something plus 16. I don't know why, but one, two, three, four, and then we can get 16 from that. Four, and then 16, okay. All right, then we need five of any non-stackable item, like wooden swords, and we're gonna put those into this one. Again, I don't know what any of this is doing. I, I don't even know where they went. <laughs> Where'd they go? Okay, apparently this observer should be in this state it should be down when i start that's why it was still ticking i was like why is his not ticking so apparently we did something wrong sort of 
And uh, is that facing? Those aren't. That wouldn't be facing. No, I was gonna say that's that's not facing the right way. So that way, okay. And then this one should be up here, facing that way. Yeah, I mean they're facing opposite ways, or they're facing each other basically. If they're facing opposite ways, and then I'm probably never gonna need slabs of brick again. Um, and we're gonna put this here. Okay, then we need to reset this. So let's grab the. Okay, how can I how can I reset this? I guess I need to take these out, put them into here. Again, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's just hope that it works when it's when it's all said and done. We gotta put this block back here. Okay, so something just clicked, right? And it sent a signal out to here. I don't know what this is for. There's nothing on top of it. So what is is this sending out a 16? I don't know. But then this runs over here or something, and uh, yeah, we wire it up. Okay, so we need a target block. And uh, we're gonna have to run this redstone over, let's see, so one, two, three, and then over one, two, and then I think over to here, I think. One more block over, maybe, hold on. Dude, I don't know, something with with how, how like, I, I've done something wrong, but I fail to see what. And I think it's like a distance thing here. So I'm trying to figure this out. I don't know if I've like miscounted something or, or done something of the sort. I really don't know, to be honest with you, but I'm trying to figure it out. So hold on, bear with me here. Ah, I see, I see the errors of my ways. So I have built this one block too far forward or something. I mean, I'm, well, th that is the problem. So I just need to extend this back one and uh, all will be well. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. Oh no, <laughs> please, please don't all go in the hopper. It's okay though, I could go grab it real quick. But it's an easy fix. I thought I really messed something up. I don't know, I'm just like super stressed while building stuff like this because I have no earthly idea what I'm doing. Not a single clue. Okay, and then the brick goes under here. Okay, and then we got to put all the TNT back in here, which I have zero inventory space, so let me fix that. Pick up the TNT, or at least what I can. Okay, pick that stuff back up, and now I could, yes, I could successfully have it come over here, put the redstone down, right? Yeah, and then have a target block. Is something, is, it, is this, is this on? I honestly, honestly, I, I don't know. <laughs> honestly, I just, I, I seriously have no idea at this point. I'm just, I, okay, why is that torch not off? That torch should be off. I did not put the water there, but it doesn't really matter because for some reason something's messed up with it and I don't, see that's the problem is I can't fix it. <laughs> There's something wrong with it, I know, but I 100% I cannot fix that. So, I guess I can leave that torch there, that's okay. Did I do something different? Did I maybe, maybe that needs to be, I mean, that's what he did. Oh, I don't know. I'll figure it out eventually. It's just, this is gonna be a long, this is gonna be a long, long recording session. Okay, so put this here, and then put the stair in the water. I completely had forgotten the water. Okay, and then I could fill this up with TNT and it shouldn't go off. But yeah, for some reason, this is not getting a signal. I maybe I messed up the comparators at some point or something. I I, I don't I don't know. So let me let me rewatch some parts and see if I can get this to work because it should work. Like it, it, the keyword, it should work. Uh, but I'm not for sure. So yeah, just give me a minute. Uh, yes, I am very smart. It's just because I forgot a torch. That's literally the only problem. So now that one's off, and then it'll kind of that's just like a little inverter. So there's no signal here because there shouldn't be, right? Like there's no, uh, this is not counted down. So now if I turn this thing on, I can cover all this up. It says Etho and it should work. So I'm going to cover all this up and uh, we're just gonna see if it works. So let's just go ahead and do that now. Should be able to put some brick there without any recourse. I don't know how that is covered up, uh, but I, I, and you can't cover that up, can you? I don't think so. So we'll just leave it like that for now. Let's just go activate it. Let's finally see if this bad boy will work. Cause I don't know if it will. I, I, I have no idea. So I don't know how often the TNT will go off. If it works, it should eventually go off. So. 
<laughs> I don't know. Is it gonna work? Uh, and there's no like. I don't think there's. Oh, oh, tree growth triggers this to count again. Okay. So we haven't had a tree grow yet, which is why nothing has happened with the TNT. But let's see. And is it only, is it like every five trees? Or is it every tree that grows, does it trigger TNT? I have no idea. I mean, we'll, we'll watch it together. I feel like you deserve to watch it with me here and find out as a team what really happens when you watch an Ethos Lab video and copy it block for block. This video is taking me already like three and a half hours to make. So if you wouldn't mind leaving a like on it, just like when I built that big creeper spawner, I really would appreciate it. I know to maybe some of you who are good with redstone, this doesn't seem like a lot. But for me, this was way harder than that creeper spawner, uh, at least like technically speaking. It was not as grindy for sure, but it is harder. Oh man, see, we even got a bush, but it didn't uh, It didn't grow. It didn't grow into a tree. We got a lot of fun stuff over here though. Almost got smashed. Almost got smushed, dude. So still no tree. I mean, I guess it, it works. How, how much bone meal have we used? Okay, so we're okay. We've used probably 20% of it. We we're definitely going to have to set up a hopper system to just load it up with bone meal. And then just pretty much forget about it. Man, it still hasn't grown a tree. Wow. Like, I want to catch it on camera, and I'm doing my best, but it's not growing a tree. Huh. Come on, buddy. You can do it. You can do it. You got this. Okay, wait. Uh, one thing I did see is, uh... Oh, I don't have any, but l let, me, let me get one or, one or two or a few. You can give it one of these if you hit there we go so I manually made it grow a tree and it didn't it didn't work <laughs> okay hold on hold on hold on I don't know how this thing is gonna work I I don't I wish I knew oh it does smash you <laughs> I guess that that would make sense that would make sense let's grab uh, these and let's do it for a few seconds and just kind of spam it and see if that helps. So there we go. It grew a tree that time. Why is that stone now? Whoa. Okay. Well, that thing went off. That's good. Um, what's not good is the fact that this thing is, is running with st just plain stone. Did this run out? Oh, it ran out. Oi. 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 Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. Don't go off. Okay. So it ran out of bone meal. Oh, man. Okay, it stopped, too. So we basically broke it. We can fix it very easily. Let's just put all this stuff up, and we'll we'll work on this. Hold on. Okay, so we need to fill this up with bone meal. We need to not be lacking in the bone meal department. Do we not have any more bone blocks? Did we really already use all that? Wow, I am uh, I'm impressed. Oh, wow, yeah, this one was filled up all the way. I filled both of them up all the way. I guess this one's just used significantly less. We did not run that very long for how much wood we got, but it is automatic, okay? It is automatic, which, you know, I guess is, is a plus, kind of. Okay, so we need to remove all this stone and break that stone, um, and then just tap the button one time, and we're back in business. Okay. But yeah, so when enough trees grow, eventually it'll, uh, here. So I just have to hold the tree down. There we go. I don't know. I don't know how it's counting, but it's, it's working. Something's happening. The trees break. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I guess this counts when an observer happens. When, like, this goes by, but then it ticks it once. Yeah, so see, it's waiting for two more trees, right? Oh, so there's three, so it's waiting to get that fifth one. There's four, and then it's going to wait. Hopefully, we can get another one here. Yep, and then there's five, and then it pushes them back in there, ticks this thing. The TNT goes off, boom, breaks it. Wow, that's not right. <laughs> wait, that's not right. That shouldn't happen, right? I thought it, I thought it was fully automatic, Etho. I'm pretty sure it is. I don't actually think that matters. I think that will get broken again. Um, and then, yeah, you get all this moss, you get all this wood and rooted dirt. There's some things in here that you're not supposed to have in there. These things, we're not going to end up in there naturally. I think I threw those in there. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, this this growing here, I don't necessarily think it's a problem. I don't know really if you can prevent that. Um, let's go check this out. How much? So yeah, see, we've already used like close to half, and then this one is still like. Is this one even working? Yeah, it is working. But this one uses two every time it like ticks once. So you can see two numbers change. Um, so I don't know why that is, but it's just how the farm is. I'm not going to quite, I, I can't improve it. Okay. You really, I, I can't improve it. There's four in there. So another tree grows. That's that fifth one. Going to launch a TNT. Dude, that's so cool. So th I mean, you could literally just AFK this forever. Now, I don't know how, how can I get... How can I, I, oh, so you could just put a hopper right here and then a double chest on top, I assume. And then for this one, you could just do, uh, well, there's that three by three rule area. Maybe you could put hoppers right here and a line coming out. I don't know. We'll, I'll figure it out, but I'm going to call it an episode for now. I think this thing works. I'm going to do like a decent time lapse and see if I can like get it to work without me putting the trees down. Um, but it just all depends when that runs out of bone meal, but if you don't want to watch that time lapse, I'll just leave it for the end of the video. But thank you guys seriously for watching this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun doing it. I'm just honestly glad and surprised this thing turned out to actually work. Uh, not that I don't trust Ethos. I don't trust myself, right? Uh, I genuinely did not think that this was going to work. But it did. And it uh, it seems to work okay. Now, there's things like there's wood right there and stuff. So I, I don't know. I mean, may maybe it doesn't matter. Like, at the end of the day, I guess it wouldn't matter. But, like, I'm worried. I don't know. I'm just worried. I'll, I'll, I'll play with it a lot between this week and next week. But, again, I'll do a little time lapse of some natural growth. I just like, you know, putting some trees here. So you could get a stack of them in your hand or something. Um, and just, like, sit here if you wanted to. It seems to work pretty good. Yeah. That's so cool. How much wood do we have? Is it a lot? Oh, man. We got two stacks of wood. <laughs> But yeah, thank you guys for watching again. I'd really appreciate a like on this video. That would really show me a lot of support. And uh, I need support, mental support after this. <laughs> this is too much. Uh, but yeah, seriously, thank you guys so much for watching. The secret code for today's episode is going to be 2349. So put that down in the comments below if you want to show me that you watched the entirety of today's fully automatic tree farm. It's pretty much fully automatic. We're going to have to give it bone meal. But other than that, it pretty much works on its own. And that's pretty amazing. I've never had a fully automatic tree farm. So I'm really, really happy with it. I wish I understood more how it works. I kind of get this counting system. And I kind of get the rest of it. But like, if I had to build this on my own, nah, never happened. But I'm super duper happy we have this thing. Like, it's seriously so cool. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next week. And again, only two episodes this week. But like I've been saying, I'm only going to try to make as many episodes as I feel that I can make that are good in a week. Instead of trying to push out three in a week where like the third one is usually pretty bad. I'd rather just give you two really good videos rather than two like not as good videos. And then like a third not good video. So I hope, I hope you guys can understand. And thank you guys very much for watching. That should, that should uh, activate, right? No, wait, that, no, that's only three. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next week. Enjoy the time lapse. Bye. All right, so that was about an hour of running, and <laughs> that's how much we got. So it's not the quickest thing in the world, but it works good, and I don't have to sit there and mine it. Um, I did add the chests and filled them, for the most part, with bone meal. It could probably run for about two hours without adding more bone meal, and that's only with one double chest on each of these. But yeah, I figured I'd show you after that cool time lapse how much stuff we got.
Bye.